Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Nurse Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We finally passed 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support on this amazing journey, and I hope I can continue to make great content. You guys will enjoy in the future. Now, the doc is out, and the nurse is in, because Nick Nurse is the new head coach to replace Doc Rivers at the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm going to go over whether I think Nick Nurse is an upgrade over Doc Rivers at the Philadelphia 76ers and whether I think Nick Nurse can have more success with the 76ers than he had with the Toronto Raptors. Now while the NBA playoffs are raging on there are coaching moves that are being made by teams that are no longer in the 2023 NBA playoffs and they want to advance further so that's why coaching changes are occurring because the Philadelphia 76ers the last three years had Doc Rivers as their head coach and they lost in the conference semifinals every single time. Doc Rivers went 49 and 23, 51 and 31 and 54 and 28 in his past three seasons and they lost in the conference semifinals every single time. Now that is not a bad record at all and in most instances only being a head coach of a team for three years and then getting fired and making the NBA playoffs every single season that's insane to get fired. Back in the day that would have never happened but we are in 2023. Teams are impatient they want to win and with the rumors that potentially James Harden was was upset with Doc Rivers being the head coach and he was going to leave if Doc Rivers was going to continue to be the head coach of the 76ers. I don't know if those rumors are true, but Doc Rivers is out. And was that the right move to get rid of Doc Rivers? I'm not sure. I know overall that Doc Rivers has struggled in the NBA playoffs throughout his career as a head coach wherever he's been. And that is a big issue because you need to win, especially when you have talented players, to be able to advance far in the NBA playoffs. But is Nick Nurse an upgrade over Doc Rivers? I'm not 100% sure. Yes, Nick Nurse has won the coveted NBA title. He won it back in 2018-2019 in his first season with the Toronto Raptors as a head coach. He was 58-24 that year and he had Kawhi Leonard on his team and he had that ridiculous shot when Kawhi Leonard hit the shot that bounced off the rim like five times and it went in and somehow with a little bit of luck and some injuries to other players on other teams, the Toronto Raptors won an NBA title that year. I'm not saying it was a fluke. Toronto was a really good team and I'm not saying Nick Nurse didn't do a really good job because you have have to have great players to win, but Nick Nurse did guide the Toronto Raptors to an NBA title, but since that title and since Kawhi Leonard left the Raptors, Toronto did go downhill. He was 53-19 in the next season and they lost in the conference semifinals, so that wasn't too bad for Nick Nurse at Toronto, but then the season after that, they hit rock bottom, went 27-45 and and missed the playoffs. They had an awful year, but then the next year, they went 48-34, lost in the first round. It wasn't too bad, but this past season, they went 41-41 and and they lost in the play-in tournament, didn't even officially make the 2023 NBA playoffs, and the Toronto Raptors decided to fire Nick Nurse after five seasons, which I don't think is nowhere near as bad as what Doc Rivers did, only getting three years with the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, all of this isn't going to matter as long as the Philadelphia 76ers think that Nick Nurse is a better coach than Doc Rivers, but is he? I'm not 100% sure because Doc Rivers is a more experienced head coach than Nick Nurse despite all the losing that Doc Rivers has had in the NBA playoffs, despite all the blown leads, which there have been many for Doc Rivers, but still, you got to give Doc Rivers credit that he has been an NBA coach for over two decades, and he has taken a lot of teams far in the NBA playoffs, and he did win an NBA title with the Boston Celtics back in the two even though that was a stacked team. But Nick Nurse, he has an NBA title of his own, but without Kawhi Leonard, Nick Nurse never would have won a title with the Toronto Raptors. And after Kawhi Leonard left after his first season as the Toronto Raptors head coach, Nick Nurse's record with the Raptors went downhill, and he even missed a playoff one year, something Doc Rivers never did with the 76ers. And if you look at both coaches' records, Doc Rivers was over 60% with his winning percentage, while Nick Nurse was hovering in the high 50s. So Nick Nurse had a worse winning percentage than Doc Rivers. It's really tough to gauge whether Nick Nurse will do a better job with the Philadelphia 76ers. But still, that's an argument you have to gauge because that's why the 76ers fired Doc Rivers to get a new head coach that's supposed to be better than the coach that you're firing. Because a lot of teams make the mistake of firing a coach that isn't giving you what you want, isn't taking you all the way to a title, but is still doing a really solid job. And then you fire that coach and then you get a new head coach. And unfortunately, the new head coach ends up doing even worse than the old head coach that you had. And Nick Nurse could be 
a downgrade from Doc Rivers. I'm not saying he will be. He could be better. Maybe Nick Nurse will fit the system better at the Philadelphia 76 or Maybe the 76 or see something in Nick Nurse that they didn't see in Doc Rivers. Or maybe James Harden will like Nick Nurse better than Doc Rivers and be better suited to his offense than what Doc Rivers was putting out. Maybe that's the case. But if that's not the case, then what was the reason for the Philadelphia 76ers to hire Nick Nurse as their next head coach? It is really tough to figure out because there's not much on Nick Nurse's resume that is better than Doc Rivers' resume. Yes, Nick Nurse is a guy that had a team that had poor roster construction with the Toronto Raptors. And if that wasn't his fault, and that was the management at the Toronto Raptors wanting to build that team the way that it was constructed. Yes, Toronto was long and they had a lot of wings and centers, but the Raptors did not have enough guard depth, and I don't even think they had enough guards on their team, especially in the starting lineup where they only had Fred Van Vliet. And then the rest of their starting lineup was a bunch of centers and forwards. And maybe with the Philadelphia 76ers having better guard depth with James Hart, Tyrese Maxey, and star big man Joel and be manning the paint for the Philadelphia 76ers, Nick Nurse could do a better job with Philadelphia than he did with Toronto. But we're not going to have proof of that until Nick Nurse starts coaching with Philadelphia. And overall, when you fire a coach, you got to make sure your next coach is an upgrade. And that's another reason why firing Doc Rivers was a bit shaky. Because yes, there were other coaches on the market like Nick Nurse, Mike Buttonholes or Monty Williams who have all been fired as well. All those coaches were questionably fired to be honest because all their teams were really solid but the organizations decided to part ways but if you're going to fire a coach and then hire a coach that was previously been fired in Nick Nurse, you got to make sure that Nick Nurse will do a better job with your team than your previous coach in Doc Rivers because if not, then this was a bad move by the Philadelphia 76ers to fire Doc Rivers and get Nick Nurse because you do see the Milwaukee Bucks. They have reportedly hired Adrian Griffin as well well, the Toronto Raptors assistant coach to be the Milwaukee Bucks next head coach to replace Mike Buttonholes, or maybe that will work out. It's really interesting. All the Toronto coaches are getting head coaching jobs in the NBA, but still, it's going to be really interesting to find out. Nick Nurse could be really good with the Philadelphia 76ers, but if he doesn't do as good of a job as Doc Rivers, then the 76ers could be starting to trail in the wrong direction. As James Harden's getting older, P.J. Tucker's getting older, Tyrese Maxey, he's going to be a really good player in the future, but if Joel Embiid's not satisfied, he could go to another team. We're just going to have to see what happens with the future of the Philadelphia 76ers, but if Nick Nurse can stabilize the situation and maybe get the Philadelphia 76ers to their coveted final and maybe win an NBA title, then Nick Nurse will be a hero with the 76ers. That's what they've been wanting for so long. Doc Rivers couldn't get it done. They only gave him three years and they said that he was out of time. So Nick Nurse is going to have to get it done in a hurry or he will be fired as well. But with Boston in the East, Miami in the East, and all these other teams, even the Milwaukee Bucks are still out there. There's a lot of good teams in the East. There's a lot of competition for the Philadelphia 76ers to make an NBA Finals and win an NBA title. And Nick Nurse, he's got a lot of pressure on his hands to really succeed with the 76ers because if he doesn't win and get past the conference semifinals he could be on his way out just like Doc Rivers it's a really interesting move I can't really grade it a success or a failure would I have made this move probably not I probably would have kept Doc Rivers for a couple more years but it is what it is I understand why they fired him because of all the failures that he has had in the past to be able to advance all the way to a finals that's where the 76ers want to go maybe Nick Nurse can get it done maybe he'll have a better system and potentially have more success with the 76ers with a better constructed roster with the Raptors and maybe it wasn't Nick Nurse's fault that the Raptors were constructed the way they were. Maybe he'll have more success with the 76ers but until that time we're not going to know. I give this an average move to get Nick Nurse. He might have been one of the best head coaches available because unless you went the assistant coach route and going with an unproven guy like the Bucks to hiring Adrian Griffin. We'll have to see if that works out. It's tough to hire an unproven guy. At least Nick Nurse is proven. You could have went with Mike Buttonholes or Monty Williams for the 76ers as well but they picked Nick Nurse. I don't think it's a terrible move but I can't really grade as a great moving until we see how Nick Nurse does with the 76ers. It's going to be really interesting, but Doc Rivers is gone with the 76ers and Nick Nurse is in and Nick Nurse is going to have a tough job on his hand with a lot of pressure to succeed and if he don't he could be on his way out just like Doc Rivers was after a couple of seasons. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Nick Nurse replacing Doc Rivers as the next head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers and whether you think that Nick Nurse can possibly do a much better job than Doc Rivers as the 76ers head coach or whether you think that Nick Nurse could suffer the same fate as Doc Rivers after a couple seasons and get fired as well. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I will see you next time.